It is once again time to take a look at some awesome PlayStation 4 game deals that are available right now. A ton of games have been steeply discounted, and I want to take you guys through all of that. But outside of the PlayStation 4 game deals, I want to also take a look at some great Nintendo Switch game deals. And then Xbox is also running their spring sale right now, so we'll highlight that at the end of this video. It seems like you guys have been enjoying us covering some deals on other platforms, so we'll try to keep that ball rolling. A lot of the PlayStation 4 game deals do come from Best Buy. I know some of you guys are a bit disappointed by the lack of PSN sales. I am hopeful that PlayStation Store will be running their own spring sale in the very near future with Xbox running theirs. I imagine that'll be coming hopefully this Tuesday, but that's just speculation on my part. I have no inside info, but nonetheless, I feel like there's a little bit of calculation by Sony on not running any major sales over this last three to four week span since the great indoor sale, maybe because they're prepping up another major sale with the spring sale. Again, just speculation on my part, but I know a lot of you guys have been bugging out so i wanted to give you guys my two cents but for those of you guys that do like your physical game offerings best buy and amazon have you got you covered with some great deals so i want to take you guys through that some recent 2019 games are also discounted so let's go over everything tom clancy's the division 2 is ten dollars off at best buy down to 49.99 the division 2 low-key has been holding up in price i mean it's only a month old at this point but as a ubisoft game i just imagine it to hit the bargain bin really quickly just like far cry new dawn being 20 and by the way, it's available for that price right now. Don't even really have to give it a mention because that game came out and then a month later it was down to $20. But The Division 2 is a very compelling multiplayer offering. If you're a little disappointed by Anthem, which by the way, on sale as well. We'll get to that in a little bit. But you want another multiplayer game that's engaging and Ubisoft is going to stay committed to. The Division 2 is definitely going to be that. This is a game that is starting off really good and Ubisoft is just going to be committed to making it even better. So longevity wise, it's definitely going to be there. And $50, yes, not a steep discount but it is $10 off GCU if you still have that. You get it for $40 and that's quite a good buy. Best Buy has also got Metro Exodus Day 1 Edition $20 off to $40. So Metro Exodus is a very good game. Many would say that it's weaker than Metro Last Light or Metro 2033. I think from a gameplay standpoint, a presentation standpoint, visual standpoint, of course... Exodus is a stronger game. Maybe there are just some elements gamers liked about Last Light and 2033 better. Nonetheless, Exodus is a very good game, but if you've yet to play 2033 and Last Light, I would recommend you to pick those two games up on sale. Hey, if a PSN sale is coming up soon, Metro Redo Collection usually goes on sale, so maybe that could happen. But if you've already played those games and you're eager to check out Exodus, $40 for it isn't a bad buy. Next up, Anthem is $20 off for $40, so this is finally dropping in price, and I expect it to continue to drop in price. Usually when an EA game is going on sale within two months of its release like this and a significant discount at that, that's usually a harbinger of the game not doing all too well. I mean, it's a different case with Ubisoft, where Ubisoft games come out, and even if they sell really well, they'll just go on sale anyway. But with EA games, they tend to hold up in value unless there's something wrong with it commercially. You saw that with Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5 just hit the bargain bin a week after release. And of course, it's been well publicized how that game did. Anthem itself, I know it's getting a lot of hate. I know this is like the top game to hate on right now. However, maybe I just like being the contrarian. But if you have a couple of friends to play with, there is fun to be had in Anthem. I'm not saying it's the best multiplayer game of all time. Don't get it twisted. And The Division 2, in my opinion, if you want a multiplayer offering, is the better game. If you have some friends playing with it, I'm telling you guys, it might end up surprising you a little bit just because it's been painted out to be one of the worst games of all time. And I really don't think it's that. Is it up to Bioware standards? Absolutely not. But if you just judge it fundamentally as a game, there are strong elements to it. I know that's going to be shocking to a lot of people of me saying that. $40 still might be a little bit too steep of a price point. At $20, I think it would be an awesome buy. But if you're eager to check it out, $40 again available at Best Buy right now. Next up, speaking of multiplayer offerings, Best Buy has also got Overwatch Legendary Edition $20 off for $20. That's a really good buy for Overwatch. I've talked about this game at length. And if you're at this point in 2019 and you haven't heard about Overwatch, then you're pretty much living under a rock. It's a quality team-based first-person shooter. A lot of variety here. Another game that Blizzard has remained very committed to, and it's still one of the most compelling first-person shooters all these years later. And it was released, what, all the way back in 2016, around the time of all of those other first-person shooters like Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and Overwatch was released a few months prior. Well, out of all of those games, which ones still persist today? Overwatch, for sure, and that kind of is a testament to Blizzard. Now, Blizzard doesn't spam game releases like EA and Activision and try to get out Call of Duty games and Battlefield games all the time. But nonetheless, you get the idea. Overwatch has remained a rather compelling experience for the last couple of years. 
Another very recent release, Dead or Alive 6 is $20 off for $40, so this is a very recent release, just a little over a month old. The issue with fighting games, and I've made this pretty publicized at this point, I just don't dig how they're doing season pass and downloadable content these days. It seems like you're getting nickel and dime to get all of the content, and Dead or Alive 6 has an obscene amount of DLC content. But that's not exclusive to this game, just about every fighting game these days is getting an obscene amount of DLC content, whether it be a Dragon Ball Fighters, Mortal Kombat 11. You guys get the idea, but fundamentally, Dead or Alive 6 is a quality game. There is a free version of the game on the PlayStation Store that has a limited content, so you guys can check that out before you drop the $40 on the full game. But if you're into Dead or Alive and you want a technical fighting game, Dead or Alive 6 definitely offers that, and $40 isn't a bad buy. We do have The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim VR $20 off for $40. This is a game that is really held up in value. It released all the way back in 2017, but I don't know why Skyrim VR is still $40. It should really be down to $20 to $30, but nonetheless, if you have PlayStation VR and you want to revisit Skyrim, man, and Skyrim VR is a great way to do so. Is it perfect? No, but it really accentuates the world of Skyrim and it's a great way to revisit the game. Instead of buying the game on every known platform like PC, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch, Skyrim VR actually offers you a new way to experience the game. Yes, the fundamentals of Skyrim are intact, but it does add a whole new layer to the game. And seeing a dragon in virtual reality, yeah, that's pretty impressive. And of course, with this version, you do get all of the DLC. And Skyrim VR is a game that kind of speaks for itself. If you have PlayStation VR, I would give it a look. And at $40, yes, it's steep, but it really doesn't go any cheaper. Bioshock The Collection is down to $20. This includes Bioshock, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite, a tremendous trilogy of first-person shooters. Talked about these at length as well. But if you've yet to play Bioshock or you want to revisit it, $20 for that is a steal. God of War is down to $30, which is a really good buy because this game has really held up in price ever since Black Friday. For Black Friday, it went down to like $17 at GameStop. And now it hardly goes on sale at all, but $30 for it is a pretty good buy. And of course, God of War is an incredible game. If you're a PlayStation 4 owner, it's a game you absolutely have to have in your library. From a story standpoint, a visual standpoint, a gameplay standpoint, it has just done so incredibly well. And whether it be your first God of War game or you already played the God of War titles on the PS2 and PS3, it's just an essential game to have in your library. And it's an experience everyone should have, and I can't wait for the next game whenever that drops on the PlayStation 5. Hellblade Sun with Sacrifice is $10 off for $20 that's a good deal as well. A game that goes a little bit under the radar, unfortunately. This is Ninja Theory's last offering on the PlayStation 4 because they've just been acquired by Microsoft. But nonetheless, Hellblade 10 with Sacrifice is an incredibly atmospheric experience, and I would give that a recommendation as well. A game that really absorbs you into the world. It's not all too lengthy. You could jump in, probably beat it in one or two sittings and be done with it, but for $20, it's another experience that I would highly recommend you to have. Another game that you can really jump in and jump out in a couple hours is Diablo 3 The Eternal Collection. That is down to just just $20, which is an incredible deal. That includes the base Diablo 3 game, as well as all of the additional Diablo 3 content. Basically, what that means is if you're looking to get into that game, clear out all your other games, have a couple days ready where you could just invest it into Diablo Eternal Collection, and then that probably won't even be enough. Because this is a game you can legitimately sink over a thousand hours into. If you're talking about value and getting the most gameplay out of your dollar, Diablo 3 Eternal Collection absolutely offers that. And I always recommend it whenever it does go on sale, but it makes such a smooth transition to the PlayStation 4. Plays so well, looks so good, and I can't say enough good things about it. It's just that, yes, it will make you have no life for a little while. A couple of other deals that are readily available I want to go through quickly. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is available for $20. It's on sale yet again. Again, a Ubisoft title just shocked at how quickly this has gone on sale, but $20 for AC Odyssey is really good. Battlefield 5 is down to $33. It seems like this game's value has actually gone up a little bit ever since the release of Firestorm. They even changed the box art for the game. I don't know how many of you guys realize that, but yes, it now says now includes Firestorm Battle Royale reimagined for Battlefield, so figure that one out. $33 for it if you want to jump into BF5 if your boys are playing Firestorm and you want to get in on the action, that's not all too bad. And lastly, Marvel Spider-Man is down to $30 as well. Another essential PlayStation for exclusive. I thought this game was actually better than God of War, but that's because I'm just a big fan of the Spider-Man IP. If I actually judge it from a fundamental standpoint, God of War is probably the better game, but Spider-Man on a personal level did resonate more with me. All right, I also want to run you guys through some Amazon deals. Some of these are repeats from Best Buy if you guys do want to get them from Amazon instead. Spider-Man's down to $30. Anthem is down to $40 as well. And then they've also got Kingdom Hearts 3 and the story so far down to $66. That's an insane price for that. It was going for around $75, but now for $66, that's even better. They do have Kingdom Hearts 3 standalone for $36, and then they have the story so far for $30. So essentially, you do get it for the same price as buying them separately, but still Kingdom Hearts 3 for that low of a price, the story 
story so far for that low of a price, that's an easy recommendation, especially if you're looking to get into Kingdom Hearts. All right, so those are all of the PlayStation 4 game deals. Again, all physical, but let's hope that spring sale comes rather soon. Let's move on to some Nintendo Switch deals. Civilization 6 is $20 off down to $40. Pretty good buy on that. I was recommending that at around $45, but $40 at Best Buy is pretty good. GCU would knock it down to $32, so that is a pretty stellar deal. Octopad Traveler, which is going to make its way to PC in June, but on the Nintendo Switch, it is $10 off for $50, which is incredible to me. This game came out all the way back in July of 2018, and it is still retaining this price point. Give it up to the Nintendo Switch to really drain our wallets, but nonetheless, Octopad Traveler is an incredible game. And if you're looking for a quality Square Enix JRPG, you'll definitely find it here. And $50, again, pricey, but I would say it's worth it. And then lastly, Target's got an awesome deal on a JRPG. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country. Typically goes for $40. It is $20 off, down to just $20. Now, I would say play through the original Xenoblade Chronicles 2 game and then jump into this as it's an additional piece of story content, and it will offer you guys some spoilers. Yes, it's a prequel story, but still, there's a reason why Xenoblade Chronicles 2 came out first, but if you already played through that and you have yet to check out the Golden Country, definitely do so, and it adds a sizable amount of content. You're talking around 30 hours, so it's a pretty good buy in that regard. All right, so those are the Switch deals of note. Lastly, I do want to give you guys a heads up for those of you with an Xbox One, that the Xbox One spring sale is running right now, and there are a ton of good deals available as a part of that, especially if you're a Gold subscriber you do save an additional 10 percent on a lot of games metro exodus is down to 45 dollars jump force is down to 36 dollars i don't think that's all too bad of a price to be perfectly honest assassin's creed odyssey is down to 24 dollars forza horizon 4 is down to 36 dollars which is on game pass but if you want the game standalone there is that monster Hunter world another game coming to game pass is 30 dollars soul caliber 6 has an incredible deal it's 67% off for gold subscribers, down to $19 in change. That is a steal. Would highly recommend that. My Hero One's Justice is down to $30. Watch Dogs 2 is down to $9 in change. Spyro Reignited Trilogy for $30. Payout is down to $15. Ace Combat 7 Skies and Known is down to $36. And a ton of other deals are available. Just have a look at the sale for yourself. And you can definitely snag up some good stuff. But that is going to conclude this video. Again, a ton of good PlayStation 4 game deals available, good Switch deals, and the Xbox One Spring Sale. If you have all your platforms, you can snag some really good stuff at really good prices. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.